All right, here at 2017 PDAC in Toronto with Gord Neal, VP of Corporate Development for Silvercorp. That's SVM on the venture. Gord, good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Why don't you uh, kind of bring us up to speed on uh, on what you guys have been doing um, for the past past few months and uh, kind of lay us into this uh, new year? Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Silvercorp uh, just put out some uh, its new resource, and we've extended the mine life for another 15 years. We've been in production for 10 years, so we've got another 15 years of mine life. The most important thing in that in that um, res new resource estimate is there's uh, 180 uh, million ounces of silver equivalent that uh, we have now. Now in in, uh, in measured and indicated, and we we have again it gives us another 15 years of mine life, but at a much higher head grade than, than the last resource we came out. The last resource was at 220 uh, grams per ton. This resource is at 300 grams per ton, which is a very significant jump, and really due to the efforts of of cost controls and waste waste controls uh, at the at the at the at the mines at the Ying mine. What uh, obviously you guys are cashed up. What's uh, what's kind of uh, currently going on, and what are you looking to the next three months here? Um, we got ninety-seven million dollars in cash. Um, we're trading at about five fifty. We've got a market cap of about eight hundred and fifty million. Uh, the main thing for us, though, is the cost per ounce. We are a low-cost producer. These are narrow veins, so. Again, waste uh, di dilution is is critical. So waste control management on the on these veins is, is important. We do uh, right now we're, we're at a negative cash balance, negative cash cost balance per ounce of negative uh, two dollars and eighty eight cents per ounce. But that's with the byproduct credits. But if you take the byproduct credits uh, out, we're producing an ounce of silver at a dollar eighty seven uh, on the quarter. So I mean that's one of the lowest in the business, if if not the lowest. We have a 58% um, profit margin on those, so we're the highest profit margin silver producing company in the space. And um, you know things are going well for us. We're just we're just producing cash. We we did 129 million in revenue and 80 million in uh, 80 million in um, in net profits uh, in in the nine months in in this past nine months. That's up 284% over the nine months previous. So the company is just is just it's really firing on all cylinders right now. Uh, comfortable with the silver price here? Yeah, um, you know, with the grade, with the grade where we are at 300 grams, you know, higher prices will just make us more money. But um, yeah, you know, like, it's hard to comment on silver price. I, I really just look at how we actually uh, manufacture or actually process a ton of ore. And as the silver price went down over the last those last few quarters, our our revenues basically remained flat because we pushed up our grade from 240 to 300 grams per ton, and that allowed our revenue stream to still stay the same, mainly due to waste control, waste control management. So yeah, what's the best way to follow the story, Gord? We have a website, obviously, but um, you know we put out news periodically. We're right now we're with 100 million in cash. We're looking at accretive acquisitions as well. We, our assets are in China, so there's a little bit of a discount, probably a significant discount that that in some investors place on that because because it's in China. So we're not looking the, ne the next group of uh, the asset uh, accretive assets we're looking for will be outside of China. So we're looking in Latin America. Uh, we're looking in other parts of Asia. And we're hoping that, and we we looking at pulling the trigger within the next six to nine months. So that would be a catalyst that investors should look for. Gordon Neal, Silvercorp, appreciate your time. Thanks.